Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming back and welcome back to the Land of Sieges. We have a 2v2 siege here at the settlement of Sarai. Sari? Not sure how to say the name of the settlement. I've played many, many, many battles on this settlement before. This is actually just because it's a 2v2, I believe they have it on medium size. Or it might actually be on small. This does look like a pretty small version of this settlement. As you can see, there is no wall artillery here. So it's going to be a little interesting for the defenders to be able to hold back. Uh, this is the attacker's point of view. So I will be able to tell you that the defenders are Sparta being commanded by Rip Life. And Arverni being commanded by Akira. Let's get into the attacking armies. We'll start over here with Colchis, who we don't really see very often in the channel. So it's good to see Colchis back on the battlefield here yet again. Uh, so Colchis is being commanded by Charlie Sigzulu. He is bringing with him six units of Cartley Axemen. He's also got four units of Hillmen over there on his towers. Four units of the Eastern Archers. Two units of the Cochian Nobles. His general here is a unit of the Hippias Lancers. And he has two units of the Citizen Cavalry on his right, left flank. Sorry. And he also does have a unit of the Greek Giant Ballista up here on the wall. Up on this uh, hill here, I should say. So, should be able to do some pretty good damage. I'm going to assume that he's probably going to knock down this wall here. As you can see, there are some deployables here, some sharp stone beds here. So, and they're also going to have to contest with that tower. So, that's going to be interesting to see. Moving over here to his ally, we have Egypt being commanded by Ulfur. Ulfur is bringing with him six units of Galician swords, four Thorax swordsmen. He's got two of them over there on a wide right flank there. He's also bringing with him two units of the Galician Royal Guard, one unit of the Solbeck Cultists, which is back here behind his rear, actually part of his rear line. He's also bringing with him four units of the Nubian Bowmen, and his general is a unit of the Royal Thorax Swordsmen. So there we go, that is going to round out the armed compositions. 39 minutes, 46 seconds of the battle, let's get this one going. I'm immediately, uh, figured that's where he was going to start firing, right over there. Oh, starting to see some of the defenders here. We have some Periochii Hoplites up there, and a unit of the Periochii Spears back over in that rear gate. So let's just keep an eye on the artillery here. See where he's going to fire. Yeah, he is going to hit this wall. So very good, uh, very good idea here. I don't actually... Hmm, the wall percent damage isn't showing up for some reason. Oh, that's because I turned it off. Haha, <laughs> 22% here already. Oh my god. That's not good. So we got three units of Light Horse coming out here for Arverni. One other unit there of the Citizen Cavalry for Sparta. And let's see what kind of damage these guys are going to be able to do here. Looks like they're going to be barreling right towards the Archer Army. Or Archer Force, I should say. A couple of the units of the Thorax Swordsmen are going to be moving back. Do have some of the Sobek Cultists pulling out of the way as well. Galician Swordsmen swinging around. So hopefully they're going to be able to try and get some good damage in onto this Light Horse. Not going to be a lot of charge damage. I mean, their bonus charge is, is 39, but they are just light cavalry, so it's not going to be the most massive of attacks. But they are very fast. So let's see. They're already taking some losses already. Wow, down to 59 men left in this unit already. Not a single kill. The other two units of cavalry are pulling way far around. Where did the citizen cavalry go? I think he stopped in the woods over there. Might not be a bad idea to try and hold them back for a little bit. Citizen cavalry have a little bit better of a charge bonus than the light horse here for Arverni. Since cavalry is a medium melee cavalry unit, so they should be able to do a little bit more damage. It looks like Arverni is now just going to swing around. Maybe he's still looking for an ability to get in onto the Egyptian ranged forces, but yep, you see the archers here now getting some really good shots. They have turned. We do also have some javelins still being thrown, I believe, at that final unit of the Arverni cavalry. So we have six out of this unit down. This unit's still solid. Cavalry here is, this unit's down to 57 out of 80, so pretty good damage so far on the light horse. Uh, we do have the, oh, here comes the Citizen Cavalry for Colchis. They're going to make their way over here. Maybe try and give their ally a little bit of a repose, or a little bit of a hand, I should say. Not probably not going to be able to catch the light cavalry, but at least they're going to maybe try and at least push them off. Four units of the Hellman have now gotten down off of the towers. Let's see, the wall breach has been made here, so the artillery now is just going to continue bombarding. Looks like maybe he's going to try and just knock down this whole wall section. Very good idea there. Stop now. What else is he sending over here? He's got two units of his Cartley Axemen making their way over. He's retreating two of his units of his... Ar actually, he's retreating all of his archers up on top of this hill here. 
will be able to defend against any of the cavalry if they decide to make it their way over here. But here we go, our Verney cavalry now making their way towards the rear lines, now front lines of Egypt again, since the Egyptian army has forced been forced to turn around to deal with this cavalry. And here we go, we got a charge coming in, charging in onto a unit of the Galatian swordsmen. The one unit of light horse now already routing. Down to 16 men, they have one, now two kills. This other unit here down to 40 men, wow. Six kills for them. The final unit still trying to make their way around. I just don't think they're going to be able to do any serious damage. They're going to get a charge in onto this unit of Thorax Swordsmen, so that should do a little bit. Nope, now it didn't lose a single man. Light Horse has now switched into their wedge formation after they're already charged into combat. I don't know how good of an idea that was. And the Arverni Cavalry is gone. Two of the three units of Arverni Cavalry is gone. This final unit here is completely locked into melee, being surrounded by Solbeck cultists. Two units of the Thorax Swordsmen. The Spartan Cavalry did make their way around. Look at this, they're actually using the bridge. How cool is that? Wow. Don't really see that very often, but yeah, Citizen Cavalry is now going to be outnumbered by the two units of Citizen Cavalry coming over here for Colchis. So let's see what they're going to try and do. I'm not still just trying to make sure that I'm mi not missing anything. No, not really. So Colchis is pretty much just determined to help over here with his ally against the Citizen Cavalry for Sparta. Sparta's Cavalry is now switching into their Diamond Formation, but they may... Are uh, they going to get caught? No, does not look like they're going to get caught yet. Citizen Cavalry for Sparta is going to be pulling back. As you can see over in the distance over there, the final bit of the Arverni Cavalry is broken completely. Eight men left in that unit, and they are running for the hills. Citizen Cavalry here for Sparta still trying to pull away. Colchis is chasing. Oh, here comes the Thorax Swordsman from the other side. Will they be able to get some javelins in? They do. Wow, ten killed on that. One volley there. Other unit of the Thorax Swordsman making their way around. Does look like the Citizen Cavalry for Sparta will be able to make their way back inside the settlement. Not losing more than the ten that they lost. So very good, very good defense. Good job there by Egypt taking care of those units of the Arverni Cavalry. Sparta finally returning that one unit back inside. So the Kokian Cavalry will be able to pull back around. Looks like the Thorax Swordsmen that were on this side will be making their way back over towards their siege group. It looks like only one unit. Only uh, They only have one battering ram over there. Let's see what's going on back over here. We do have some of the Cartley Axemen starting to make their way towards that one breach point. I did see a unit of Levy Freeman over here for Arverni at one point there. And actually, oh! Looks like actually some of the spike traps here were used. I think the defender accidentally ran through some of his own spike traps. What is this? Two units of chosen swordsmen swinging their way back around uh, on the this size settlement. I think this is still the town center. I think it is. I mean, it could be either one of these, so I, I'm not entirely sure. Another unit of chosen swordsmen showing their faces now as well. Looks like the artillery has finished firing. So I'm guessing he is completely out of ammunition. Let's see what this wall got up to. 45% damage. Did not end up clipping into the tower, but the, the artillery does have two, uh, sorry, seven kills there. So they were able to hit something. Just not really seeing how far back are these. Oh, there they are. Looks like these were some Spartan spears. Hopefully they weren't. And if Sparta did bring pikemen, hopefully they weren't the pikemen that were lost there. That would probably be a little bit of a bad thing start losing some of the some of the uh, pikemen as early as they did coming up now they're gonna start burning down this arrow tower very good idea wow look at that fire damage up to a hundred percent immediately Ooh man so there goes that one saving grace that the defenders were gonna have over here to at least have a tower on this side helping them defend as this is the smaller size settlement so they don't have the gate down over here with the towers that will be able to help Oh, Citizen Cavalry has come back out again. Let's see where they're going. Looks like they do have maybe, maybe they have the opportunity to get a rear charge onto some Thorax Swordsmen. I believe they have missed their opportunity to get in onto those Nubian Bowmen, though. Tower's starting to move? No, not just yet. Looks like they have moved up a little bit, but they're not. They're, they're currently holding their position, and here comes Citizen Cavalry. Looks like he tried to get a bit of a rear charge. Actually snuck his way around. Wow, I don't know exactly how he did that, but these Nubian Bowmen are about to have a really bad day as they are being shot at from behind by the Averni and Spartan Archers and now being charged in by a unit of the Citizen Cavalry. 
believe Coke has pulled his cavalry all the way back. Nope, here comes the cavalry again. Coke is cavalry coming back. Thorax Swordsman really trying to delay the escape of the Citizen Cavalry for Sparta, but they are going to be able to get away up to 49 kills. Oh, God. Massive spear. Ma I mean, massive javelin there from the general there. Very well done by the Royal Thorax Swordsman. And there goes the Medium Cavalry, the Citizen Cavalry for Sparta off of the battlefield. Colchian Cavalry, zero kills and zero kills. So they didn't even need to be involved. But definitely good to show their presence over here. And the Citizen Cavalry ended with, let's see if we can get back on it, 48 kills total for that unit. So it does not look like the Defender's Cavalry sally out really was that effective. But it was very well defended by the Egyptian player. I'll definitely give him some serious props on holding off four units of cavalry pretty much by himself. All right, Egypt is moving up some more of his towers. He's got his Galician swordsmen all moving up here see what is going on with Colchis. He is now starting to move up his four units of the Cartley Axemen here. This tower has finally been burned down. So we do have some Spartan Hoplites, Periochiae Peltests, Periochiae Pikemen, and you did see a lot of archers over here for Arverni and Sparta. But again, it does look like they have used their own defensive traps against themselves. Yes, we do see some bodies laying inside these craters here. Pretty rough to see. Pretty rough to see. It looks like, I think that's some Arverni. Yeah, I believe that's some of the Gallic Hunters there. So pretty rough to see. Definitely want to keep an eye out. That's I'm not a big fan of using deployables. And that is one of the main reasons why. Because if you don't know where your ally put their deployables, you're going to lose men. You're going to lose men. So definitely, definitely, uh, I'm not a big proponent of, uh, of the deployables really at all. <laughs> So, but we do have some Levy Freeman here now making their way forward. Still a full unit. Two other units of Levy Freeman have now shown up from the Fog of War. Front line here, we have three units of the Periochiae Hoplites for Sparta. Two more units of Periochiae Hoplites over here. The artillery, I thought I just... Yeah, artillery is starting to fire again. Let's see where he's firing. Might be firing up here. But yeah, these, these uh, Periochiae Peltas actually making their way up towards the walls... I don't know how good of an idea that's going to be. I mean, the Peltas getting up there, they're going to be able to get some volleys down. Oh, artillery coming in. Big hit into some of these Spartan hoplites here. Down, wow, losing a lot of men. Still running through these defensive traps. Not good. This unit of Spartan hoplites down to 133. So this defense over here already not looking good. We have eyes on the heroes of Sparta, Royal, uh, the Sparta general here already. Another unit of heroes of Sparta making their way down. Two units here of Periochiae Pikemen. Let's see, did they end up losing any? Oh, they're starting to disappear. We have some more Celtic Warriors here. The other units of the Gallic Hunters on this side for Arverni. So battle is now underway over here. We do have the Galatian Swords coming in on to the Levy Freeman here. Archer support coming down from probably the Arverni Gallic Hunters on that ridge there. You can see the arrows just coming in. Another set of arrows actually got loosed over here. Firing up over three, oh, three units of the Cretan Archer, Helot, sorry, Helot Archers, wow. Helot Archers over here destroying this unit of Nubian Bowman, only with 34 kills. They are gone. Off of the battlefield, 34 kills total for them. Other Nubian Bowman units sitting right there. Here are the Gallic Hunters again, getting some good volleys up over. It says that they're taking fire as well. Not sure exactly what they're being fired. Maybe this unit of Nubian Bowman over here. Yes, it does look like this newbie at moment was starting to fire up over that ridge top into the Arverni Gallic Hunters. Let's swing back over here, see how Sparta is faring. We do have a unit of the Cartley Axemen up. Units of the Eastern Archers have moved their way up as well. One unit firing up onto the Spartan defense here. The other unit firing right into the side of this unit of Periochiae Hoplites who are currently in combat with some Hillmen over here as well. Do have the four units of Hillman have made their way up. Unit of Galatian Royal Guard has made their way over here as well. So good teamwork. Continued good teamwork by the attackers here. Unit of Periochia Hoplites not looking good though. Wavering down to 60. Oh wow. Nope. They were at 68. Now down to 45. They are going to be pulling back. Total of 12 kills for them. Taking a lot of javelins. A lot of arrows in their back as they're trying to run away. Still only one lone unit of Cartley Axemen up here, but they're doing some pretty good work with the archer assistance by the Eastern Archers here for Colchis, doing some really good work. The 
the Spartan Hoplite unit down to 104 men. This unit here with them. Still 133, so says they are currently winning. Probably Axemen are going to be pulling back out of the combat. Probably allow their archers to start getting some shots. Let's swing back around over here. We do have two of the units of the Celtic Warriors for Arverni have now involved themselves in the battle. As you can see, the two, unit, two units of the Levy Freeman are retreating, but look at the amount of archers that are right over here. Sparta's archers are pulling back. Arverni archers still getting some really good shots, firing in, taking out this unit of Galatian swords. Another unit of Galatian swordsmen here in combat, taking on some of the Celtic warriors. It does look like the Galatian swords are not looking very good. Looks like they've also been rear attacked by this unit of Celtic warriors. So this unit of Galatian swordsmen, unfortunately, pretty much surrounded now. Some of the heavier troops making their way up. We do have the Sobek cultist unit, which is a very good unit. Very, very good unit. They have discipline, um, and I'm pretty sure they, yeah, 36, 36, 61, 55, so they are very solid medium melee infantry. Hopefully this Thorax Swordsman start making their way up onto the walls, because the Egyptian attack so far over here, not looking very good. Starting to see another unit of the Galatian Swordsman here starting to waver. They have neutralized the tower, though, so that is good. The gate, the gate here has been neutralized. Hillman on this side with, a, with the backup of the Galatian Royal Guard. Really starting to do a big number of starting to have this unit of the Periokei or Haplite start to rout. I believe we do have, yeah, two units of the Eastern Archers over here against. Really, really doing some great shots in onto the Spartan defenders. Levy Freeman have returned from routing. They're going to charge their way back in, cycling out the Celtic Warriors. And the Celtic Warriors away from the Galatian Swords. This unit of Celtic Warriors looks like they're going to stay in for the thick of the fight, though. The other two units of Levy Freeman not looking very good. Their morale is really, really low. Down to 44 and 48 in those units. Some of the Celtic Warriors... Oh, we might actually be getting some friendly fire here. Looks like that unit of Celtic Warriors took a lot of damage. Taking on a unit of Galatian Royal Guard. The Galatian Royal Guard says that the unit is losing. Probably because of the archer assistance from, again, from the Arverni archers doing a fantastic job. 121, 161 for those two units. Levy Freeman back over here, 43. We do have a unit of Perioka okay, Hoplites making their way back up towards the uh, line of line of line of combat. There we go. Words are a little difficult sometimes. Uh, Perioka okay, Peltest back up on the wall again. 51 kills total. We do have the Cartley Axemen, at least these front three units of Cartley Axemen switching into their shield wall. Actually, all of them switching in. Five of the units of the Cartley Axemen have switched into their shield wall. Let's see how the Eastern Archers did, 209 and 93, so this unit still has a ton of ammunition left. This unit probably maybe has volley left, maybe. It does look like they have their daggers out though, so they will be done with their Archer Fire, 209 kills total for them. Very well done with the Eastern Archers there. Good defensive stance here now, two units of the Spartan Hoplites now into their Hoplite wall, so they should be able to hold, they might need to worry about this corner being taken if if Colchis can sneak a unit around there. Colchis over here now having a bit of a difficult time. The three units of the Hellid Archers over here now firing up over, destroying some of these units of Hillman. So these heroes of Sparta coming in, they were actually able to do a lot of damage, but they're already down to 52 men. 190 kills for them though, very well done. Spartan General involved in combat, taking on a unit of the Galatian Royal Guard. But again, with the Hellid Archers, Getting some good shots down onto the Galatian Royal Guard, and now the other unit of Hero Sparta collapsing in behind this unit. So this unit is going to be pretty much destroyed, I'm going to assume. Oh, wait. Nubian Bowmen here for Egypt have moved over. Looks like they're going to start getting some rear shots in onto this unit of Heroes of Sparta. That could be very good. Heroes of Sparta General pulling away from melee combat, really trying to get away, but the archers here doing a fantastic number on those heroes of Sparta General, now down to 47 men, total of 22 kills, he's going to try and run away from the Sobek cultists, we do have some Perioke Spears that will be able to defend the general, hold the attack off on the general, you can see the Perioke Spears charging right into these Sobek cultists, general is going to be able to make his way, oh but he's starting to waver, ooh that could be big if Sparta loses his general already. I hope the general is going to be able to catch himself. We do have some more Arverni units over here. It's a couple units of Chosen Swordsmen, another unit of Celtic Warriors charging in, taking on another unit of the Thorax Swordsmen. Let's see what the attackers still have left melee-wise. Yeah, Egypt actually has been beaten up pretty severely. Thorax Swordsmen, Galatian Swords, Sobek Cultist. He still does have his Royal Thorax Swordsmen General. 
Uh, one unit of bowmen, two units of bowmen, three units of bowmen. He does also have these two units of thorax swordsmen over here. Looks like they're going to be retreating back around to meet up with the rest of his army. Colchis is still very solid, though, charging up this hill again. Three units of his Carly Axemen mixing it up with the Periokia Peltest and the two units of Spartan Hoplites here. Just going to zoom in, let you guys watch some of the fighting here for a little bit. So far, Sparta seems to be holding pretty... Oh, never mind. They broke through on the left here. So a unit of the Carly Axemen was able to make their way through here. I think because the Spartan player didn't charge these units in. Spartan General's dead. Oh, I just saw that. The Spartan General has died. Ooh, that's going to be rough. I, do I hear artillery again? No. Artillery is out. 67 kills. I thought I heard fireballs coming in. I guess that's just more infantry charging up through the breach here. But yes, the Carly Axemen were able to make their way around. They're going to get a good rear charge in onto these Spartan Hoplites. Now these units of Spartan Hoplites, at least this one unit here, is completely surrounded. We do have some more archer fire coming up over onto Superior. Okay, and Pikemen making their way up. Armor is 60, so they do have a pretty decent army, but archers kill pikes. They kill pikes pretty quickly. You can see Perioke pikemen have already lost six men so far. Let's swing back over here, see how Egypt is faring. Looks like more of Egypt's units are getting surrounded. The Royal Thorax Swordsman General is in the settlement here. This unit of Thorax Swordsmen again being surrounded. We have a unit of Chosen Swordsmen have actually made their way up onto the wall. Behind the Royal Thorax General. Ooh, man. Hopefully there's another two units of Thorax Swordsmen can get over here and at least help the General out. General is now looking to be surrounded. We do have some Gullic Hunters up in melee. 181 kills for them so far. More of the Gullic Hunters. Look at the amount of archers over here. Wow, three units of Gullic Hunters. Three units of the Helid Archers over here just firing down onto the Colchian soldiers here. Eastern Archers still here though. Still solid units. 209 for that unit. 63 here for him. 93 for this unit. This unit is starting to get picked apart though. 33 kills for this unit, but hey... You're only losing one unit, and his archers are still firing up over into the Periokei Pikemen. Not looking good. They are routing. Starting to waver here. Second unit of the Periokei Pikemen making their way over here. <coughs> Hopefully they will have a little bit more luck than the initial unit there. Total of 12 kills for that first unit of Periokei Pikemen. Archers still firing up over into this new setup unit of Pikes. Carly Axemen have pulled back a little bit. get back over here to Egypt, see how well he's doing. Egyptian general starting to fight back into this battle, up to 163 kills. This other unit of Thorax swordsmen actually didn't break. <coughs> Excuse me there. I'm actually really surprised they didn't break. 170 kills for them, though. They are still putting in some serious work on these chosen swordsmen. Where did the rest of the chosen swordsmen go? There was like two other units here. Periokia pikeman unit routing away, completely shattered. So it does look like the general might actually be able to survive over here. Still fighting some more of the Chosen Swordsmen here. Thorax Swordsmen have made their way over towards the tower, so they will be able to start making their way up. But yeah, the, the Carly Axemen doing some real good work. Actually, we have a mirror here. Unit of the Spartan Hoplites just shattered. This unit of Carly Axemen look like they're on their way out as well. The Pikes pulled back. Periokia Pikemen have pulled back. So a big old battle going on over here. Two more units of the Carly Axemen making their way up. So, Colchis still has two units of his citizen cavalry, he still has his general, three units of his archers, Egypt has moved over two units of his Nubian bowmen over here, and the Thorax swordsmen, one unit of the Thorax swordsmen have made their way up, starting to climb up the towers here. So the general was successful though, destroying one of these units of chosen swordsmen, 68 still left in the unit, 156 kills, this unit here, shaken, 167 kills for them, One of, I'm sorry, 100. Sorry, 64 men, 105 kills for that unit, sorry. Uh, some more of the Gullic Hunters over here getting some good shots off those. 72 kills for that unit. More Chosen Swordsmen here coming out. Two solid units of Chosen Swords for Arverni making their way out. Colliding with this brand new unit of Thorax Swordsmen already getting beaten down though. Down to 137 men left in that unit. 
Looks like the attackers are trying desperately to cap. They have captured the gate. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be bad. Two units of Citizen Cavalry will be making their way in through this gate. Perioki I hoplites making their way over. We do have the o um, so Spear Noble General. I thought it was Osworn. But here comes the Citizen Cavalry for Colchis. They're going to have to deal with some of these sharp stone beds, but there's nothing back here. Actually, we have a unit of Chosen Swordsmen retreating away. This you no, they're turning around. Two units of Chosen Swordsmen making their way back towards Citizen Cavalry. Hopefully, Citizen Cavalry will be able to pick up some spear to speed to get some charges, but I don't think they're going to be able to get anything really good because of the sharp stone bed placement there. So Arverni and Sparta now pulling back from this front line. Thorax Swordsman coming over here. Looks like this very small unit's going to try and capture this tower. But yeah, Citizen Cavalry unfortunately wasn't really able to get anything going. Back over here, these uh, Periokai Hoplites, Helen Archers, and the Pikes have moved up yet again. So they will be taking on this unit of Carly Axemen. I'm going to guess once this unit of Periokai Hoplites breaks down to 81 men, they look like they're kind of getting a little surrounded. They're getting, their flank is starting to get a little pressed here on the side. Eastern Archers still getting some really good shots up into these Periokai okay, Pikemen. Now down to 108 men. Carly Axemen are going to pull off and actually flank charge in onto the side of this unit of Periokai okay, Hoplites. Hopefully these Pikes move forward. Does not look like the Pikes are going to move forward. They are still getting shot to hell here. Oh yeah, they are getting cut down, starting to waver. 80 men in the unit running away now, and now they're going to try and retreat, getting some javelins into their backs. Now they're going to get charged into by this unit of Carly Axemen, and yeah, they hit them. No pikes are down. Pikes are just starting to get down now here, but these guys are getting mauled. Down to 44 men left in that unit. Do have the Royal Thorax Swordsman for Egypt pressing up over into some of the Chosen Swordsmen. Another full unit of Thorax Swordsmen right behind them. <clears throat> Some more Periokii Hoplites. A lot of Periokii Hoplites we're seeing here today. Lots of them. Another unit of Chosen Swordsmen. 103, kill, 103 men left in the unit with 138 kills. So pretty good, solid unit so far for them. This unit of Chosen Swordsmen, though, unfortunately is taking a lot of Javelin damage. A lot of Javelin damage here. More Thorax Swordsmen charging in. So it's going to be a bit of a difficult place over here. All oh, these final three units on this side starting to waver. Periokia okay, Hoplites now being charged by a unit of the Cartley Axemen. Pretty much a full unit of Cartley, Cartley Axemen with 188 kills. Wow. They've lost nine men with a, over 200 kills now. And these Periokia okay, Hoplites not looking very solid at all. Just look at the number drop so quickly. Unit is losing decisively. Looks like they're going to try and pull away from combat. I don't think the Carly Axemen are just going to let them run away, though. Carly Axemen are giving a little bit of chase. The Arverni soldiers here, Chosen Swords, trying to pull away. It doesn't look like, I don't think this unit is going to be successful in getting away. Yeah, they're getting rear charged over here by the Carly Axemen. Let's see what's going on over here. Some uh, more units of Thorax Swordsmen here. Two units of Citizen Cavalry making their way around, just kind of scouting around over here, what I would assume. So maybe this is the town center. Do have the general down here for Arverni. As we saw earlier, the Spartan general was already dead. Let's take a look and see. 93, 124, so they still have ammunition. Thorax Swordsman here now letting loose some of their javelins into the Chosen Swordsman unit here. Twelve minutes, fifty-five seconds left. More of the Arverni forces on this side starting to waver. But we do have, I think that's the Gaulic Hunters. We can't see, there they are. Gaulic Hunters here, 96 kills. So they still have, they should still have a decent amount of ammunition. Firing up over into these Cartley Axemen and Thorax Swordsmen. But both of these are heavy melee. One of them is heavy melee, the other one is very heavy. So they might not be able to get a whole lot of damage, those Gaulic Hunters. They might get some good shots in onto these Cartley Axemen as they have their backs turned. Maybe. <clears throat> but look at that. 73 Periokii Hoplites routing, shattered completely off the battlefield. Their general dying was a massive hit to their morale. 
Guys, if you guys are enjoying this battle so far, please make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to drop a comment down below and continue subscribing to the channel, guys. Over 2,000 subscribers now. Absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for the continued support of my channel, for myself, showing up to the live streams and everything. Just massive support from all of you guys. It's just been absolutely amazing. So I really, really appreciate that. Thorax Swordsman over here just holding. I think he's just kind of being distractionary over here. These two units of Thorax Swordsman, only one unit of Chosen Swordsman there. We do still have the Spear Noble General, though, in the, what I'm guessing is the town center here. Golic Hunter's kind of switching their position a little bit over here, maybe trying to get a little bit better of a flanking shot in onto these Cartley Axemen, who are currently losing combat. See if they do. Yes, a lot of arrows coming over the top of those buildings into these Cartley Axemen. Pretty close fight, though, I think because of the Archer Fire, it's giving the Cartley Axemen a little... Oh, wow, look at that. Another nine or ten guys just got killed right there. This Archer Tower up here also giving this Arverni Force some assistance as well. A very good job with the Arverni Archers, up to 149 kills with that unit. But a lot of a lot of attackers left. Don't really know how much the defenders have. But the defenders really only... so Right now, the defenders really only have to defend this choke point and this choke point. So... They do have that in their favor. <coughs> we understand. Chosen Swordsman here starting to waver, but he was able to charge his second unit of Chosen Swordsman up. Any more arrows coming from these archers over here? Looks like they might be out of ammo, yeah. They are 149 kills for them. They do have their daggers out, so that does show they are out of ammunition. He's really trying to make a push, actually. Looks like Cartley Axemen are going to pull back a little bit. This unit of Chosen Swordsman starting to waver yet again. I think it's because this second unit is not in helping them. Oh, wow, look at this, actually. Chosen Swordsman pushing into this unit of Cartley Axemen. Now, I would say what Arverni should be doing right now with this unit, unless they've already used their javelins, is get them out of shield wall so they can start throwing javelins at these units. Your, your, your units cannot fire javelins as they are in shield wall. So I would definitely try and get them out of there. But it doesn't look, look like that's going to happen. Thorax Swordsman out charging in. Arverni did charge and kind of got a little bit of a counter charge in onto these Thorax Swordsmen. But still in shield wall. So it looks like they are really just trying to defend on this side. Archer Tower still picking up some really good kills. Egypt holding on this side. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Let Cartley, let the uh, Colchis army use his forces here to try and break through. If they can break through this one final unit, as like I said, this is the def the attacker's point of view. So I'm not really sure if the defenders have anything left over here. Cycling out, Thorax swordsmen pulling out. Cartley axemen moving their way back in again onto these chosen swordsmen. Carly Axemen here. Let's see. They're uh, 46, but let's see. Where's their armor piercing? Nope. Weapon damage is it again? Yes. Armor piercing is 10. Base damage is 16. Wow. Pretty good armor piercing level. Chosen Swordsman says melee combat is even, but they're probably going to start losing here. We do have a unit of Golic Hunters that have come down off the hill, so... Oh no. This could be the last unit. A side of the general. This could be the last unit that's over here for the defenders. That could spell trouble. <clears throat> 317 kills with this unit of Cartley Axemen. That's crazy. And yes, Chosen Swordsmen are now starting to lose decisively against this unit. 83 against 126. Wow. Quickly now! 
What is that charging? I hear something charging. Oh, Egypt moved up. Oh, the Arverni general came down. Oh, no. Citizen Cavalry, I missed the charge over here. I am so sorry I missed the charge, but here we go. Citizen Cavalry making their way up. They are going to thin their formation up and get around the Spear Noble General. Getting up into this unit of Gallic Hunters. 127 kills, so they definitely used all of their ammunition. But Citizen Cavalry trying to charge in to get rid of this unit of Gallic Hunters. Maybe at least try and pull around. Get broken through here, but it does look like the Spear Noble General has caught this unit. Yes, the, the Citizen Cavalry has now been caught. So the Spear Noble General should be able to finish off this unit of Citizen Cavalry. <clears throat> Still cycling out more units on this side. Six minutes, 14 seconds left. And it does look like whatever was on this side has been used. Oh wait, Sister Cavalry's still there. They were able to pull away. At least some of them were. 26 men taking on this unit of Gullic Hunters. Spear Noble General for Arverni really desperately trying to catch up to these cavalry, though. Citizen Cavalry, but they're still just pushing into this unit of Gullic Hunters. But now the arrow towers over here, yeah, so three arrow towers over here will be starting to get some good shots down onto the Citizen Cavalry. Still here though, oh, 11 men in that unit, 111 kills. They are starting to make their way up, really still just trying to make their way around, get some good charges off. But it does look like the final unit of Thorax Swordsmen on this right flank will be defeated by these Chosen Swordsmen, but currently Axemen still all over the place. Do have the Kokian Nobles who haven't even gotten in combat yet, and these guys are very dangerous. Look at that armor. 105 armor, 81 melee defense, melee attack 34, weapon damage 30. Very solid unit, very, very solid unit of spears. Excuse me, the Chosen Sword still holding. We do have the Royal Thorax Swordsman General. Looks like he was trying to break through on this left side of the line. Is his general dead? Yes, the Egyptian general is now dead. Where is the Kokian noble general coming around over here? Very heavy shot cavalry. Looks like he's just trying to pass his way through the sharp stone bed. If he can get a good charge in, never mind. Spear noble general making his way down over here. Egyptian, uh, the Nubian bowman though, 93 for that unit. This unit, 124. This unit might still have ammunition. Oh, it does look like they have their daggers out. That sucks. That definitely sucks. The Egyptian general now unit is about to route 14 men left in that unit. They did get a decent amount of kills, 262 kills though with that general. So very solid. Four minutes, 11 seconds left in this battle replay, guys. And it's kind of getting down to the wire. Even with four minutes left, I mean, Egypt is pretty much gone. He's got two units of bows. His general is on his way out. The general unit's almost gone completely. Does do and still have two units of thorax swordsmen over here? One with 116. This unit here with only 26. So let's see what goes on. Nubian Bowman now starting to make their way around over here. Maybe he's going to try. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're out of ammunition. Maybe he's just trying to set up a trap to see if the spear noble general will come down. Kokian noble general has pulled back around onto this left flank, falling in line behind his own men. So really desperately trying to break their way through here now, but I think these Carly Axemen, I mean, look at that, 346 kills. They are doing a fantastic job with the two units of Thorax Swordsmen backing them up as well against this Chosen Swordsman. <clears throat> you know, another unit of Chosen Swordsmen making their way over, 124 men in that unit. We did have another, that unit of uh, Call of Contras has disappeared. Oh, there they are. Oh, they still have ammo. They still have a little bit of ammunition left. They're starting to volley off. Good stuff, trying to get some good kills from that vantage point in onto these unit of Thorax Swordsmen and the Cartley Axemen. This line over here has broken because this unit of Chosen Swordsmen are in, in shield wall. So they're in a condensed formation. So right there, there was a huge gap right there on the left side of the line of these Chosen Swordsmen. So some of the units are going to be able to start making their way through. Carly Axemen were able to squeak their way past this unit of Chosen Swordsmen here. Unfortunately, that Thorax Swordsman there for Egyptian, for Egypt has finally broken, but still 225 kills for them. Carly Axman making their way around up on the hill here. Probably going to try and chase down these archers, or at least chase them away from this archer tower. Does not look like there's really a lot of infantry back here. I see the Spear Noble General 
and the two units of the Chosen Swords over here, but this Chosen Swordsman unit down to 118 men, this unit here down to 40, losing decisively. Kolki and Nobles have now pushed into combat. That is a rough situation over here for these Chosen Swords. <clears throat> Carly Axman, oh, they wavered. I thought he was going to stop and try and capture that tower, but the Arverni Gallic Hunters were able to count and cat and mouse them away from that Archer Tower, so very well done to them. Other unit of the Kokian Nobles making their way over here, going to probably take on the Spear Noble General, who's down to 134 men, 60 kills for them so far. Fresh, brand new unit of Kokian Nobles over here. This defense is now starting to fall. Kokian Nobles here up to 56 kills, breaking or routing this unit of the Spear Chosen Swords. This unit of Chosen Swordsmen not looking very good either. Now you know the unit of Thorax Swordsmen charging in. One minute, eight seconds left in this battle replay. Koki or Verdi General trying to run away. Some Golic Hunters now making their way in. They're going to press in onto a unit of Koki and Nobles. That's not going to last there <laughs> immediately. Immediately starting to waver down to 51 seconds. Our Vernon General's morale not looking good. He's going to try and charge down into these Kokian nobles. Wow. Let's try and get over here into at least a bit of a good camera shot there. Units now starting to surround the Arverni General. We do have some of the Nubian Bowmen making their way around. They're probably just going to get a rear charge in. 22 seconds left in the battle. Successful attack. Not really sure what happened to all the defensive forces. I mean, they had a lot of units over here. Arverni had a lot of units over here. I don't know where they went. I mean, I, just, I don't know how they died. They had a lot of Chosen Swords, a lot of Celtic Warriors over there. But there you go. That is the end of the battle. Successful attack. Costly victory for Colchis and Egypt. Let's get into the army comps here. We will start off with Colchis with Charlie Sixzulu, who's the guy that sent the battle replay in. So, Charlie, thank you very much for sending in another battle replay. If you guys are interested in sending in some battle replays to me, feel free to join the Hungry Wolves Discord. There is a replays for YouTube channel. So if you guys want to drop some replays for me to cover, feel free to drop on over there into the Hungry Wolves Discord. The link for the Discord will be in the description below. So let's get into his general. One kill for his general. The um, Giant Ballista 67 kills was responsible for breaking that breach point. His Citizen Cavalry, one unit here, 120 kills, the other unit with only 26. His archer's doing very well, one, uh, 209, 151, 100 there. Kokian Nobles here, one with 96, one with 19. His Hillman not really performing very much, but they're Hillman. His Carly Axman, though, one, 158, 358 kills, 184, 148, 140. Very well done there by the Kokian army. Getting into the Egyptian army here, the Royal Thorax Swordsman General, 268. Soba Coltes, only 41. Galatian Royal Guard, 105, 270. It's Galatian Swords, 102, 207, 147, 129. Thorax Swordsman, 225, 123, 224. And his Nubian Bowman, one unit here with 124, 93. Getting into Sparta here, his general with 41 kills. His other unit here is Sparta, very well done, 203 kills. His uh, Helen Archer's doing very well, 133, 155, 151. Even his Periyoke Peltes doing pretty good, 63 kills. Fortunately, his pikes just got absolutely destroyed by the Eastern Archers over there. Only 12 and 23 kills for them. Uh, Spartan Hoplites, 77. His Citizen Cavalry, only 48 kills. His Periochii Hoplites just got completely destroyed. One unit here with 97, 82 there. Wow, a lot of Periochii Hoplites. That's a lot. Not a, I've, never, I've played Sparta once, maybe twice, I think. That's a lot of Periochii Hoplites. Uh, one unit of Perioke Spears here with 115. Getting into Akira here with Arverni. His general 65 kills before he routed that three units of light horse. I mean, I like the I like the aggressive behavior, but is three units of light horse worth 10 kills? I don't really think that's uh, an even even split there. Gullic Hunters don't making it up, though. 156, 142, 183, 177. Very well done there. Celtic Warriors, 118 and 99. Getting into his Chosen Swords, 104, 153, 112, 166, 174, 108. Very well done there. His Levy Freeman, not a whole lot of kills, and I think that's because he used the Levy Freeman for a frontline infantry unit. Those guys, you really, like, Levy Freeman are a very good unit, but you want to use their javelins. 
You really want to use their javelins. That's kind of what makes that unit shine, aside of their melee defense being 52 and their bonus versus large is 25, which again, I've said, is I think one of the highest in the game. So, but all right, guys, that is going to be the end of the battle replay here for today. Please make sure to check out my live stream tonight. We'll be doing a brand new game. Not sure if maybe we'll get an Armor 3 mission in there, but we will be playing the uh, New World mod for our Rome 2 portion of the stream tonight. So, all right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, and until the next one.